наглядная моя. Как у вас фамилия? Going to do work? Yes, I was going to. Is that okay? Of course. You sure? I can stay here with you. Well, if, you... if you want to, darling. I don't mind. I don't mind either, honest. So that's two people in two minds then. Seriously, did you want me to stay? I'm always happy for you to stay, darling. But if you want to work, that's fine too. No pressure. Okay. So, what are you going to do? Well, yeah. I think I'll go do some work then, if that's okay with you. I said it's fine, darling. I'll just stay here and have my tea. No, I did not mean that in a, okay, fine, I'll just stay here and have my tea way. I meant it in a, you know, I'll just stay here and have my tea way. And then we can make lunch together later. Okay. Okay. You see, you make me feel guilty now. I thought I was being easygoing, sweet even. Exactly, that's what makes me feel guilty. I mean, if you'd have been a prick about it, I'd have just walked away. I don't want you to just walk away. Exactly. You see, so you don't really want me to go and do work. You want me to stay here. I don't. Uh, stop right there. That was not a, I don't really want you here with me, I want to be alone. It only means that I don't want you to be here. I only want you to be here if you want to. So you're throwing it back at me, basically? Basically, yes. I'll go and do some work. Good for you.
Well, I'd be more than happy to come in and show him. The whole account was a mess from the start. What? Yes, it's nice, thank you. Yes, the air, the grass, the water, the mosquitoes, all excellent. Yes, quite the perfect holiday. Well, anyway, nice talking to you. Yeah, just give me a call if you need anything. Bye. Let me guess, your dad? Salad for lunch, I thought. Great. Shall I make some tea? Uh-huh. Have you heard from my mum and dad? Don't really expect them to call you. Your mum has probably bullied your dad into riding a camel. Was that work on the phone? You say organic, but sure if they're organic, they're meant to be ugly. You know, with warts and bird shit and stuff on them. These haven't even seen a bird. These were grown in a pesticide warehouse. You don't like your tomatoes pretty? I like my tomatoes real. I want food that's seen life. Imperfect food tastes better. More nutritious too. So that was work then. Mark, was it? I mean, look at this cucumber. Where are the spots? A real cucumber has more spots than a classroom of teenagers. But oh no, we can't possibly have veggies with spots in the supermarket. I mean, look at these. These are not peppers. They're L'Oreal peppers. Well, no, damn it, they're not worth it. Darling, it's a holiday. It's a good thing. We're enjoying the summer, okay? You know, we're doing time. Quality time. You want some cheese in this? You know I'm off dairy. No, I know, I meant tofu. Do you want some tofu in the salad? What did Mark say then? Ali, darling. Sweetheart. Let's get off my case, shall we? I say tofu goes in. Most people would kill for a year's leave. Why? You've had ten years leave. What good's it done you? I beg your pardon. I have not had... You're up for an argument, and I'm not. Let's just eat, shall we? Just because you can't take it? I can't take an argument. I can't take an argument? Clearly. I can argue you under the table. Argue you? Come on, you do better than that. It's pathetic. You're changing the subject, first sign of weakness. I can hardly change the subject when the subject hasn't been set yet. You want to pick an argument, but you can't find anything to argue about. So you just keep repeating, I can't take an argument, I can't take an argument. Well, fine. If you can't take an argument, don't argue. Nobody's making you. We're never established, I can't take an argument. You just did, you said it three times. Twice, actually. No, so you did say it. It was a rhetorical question. I was provoking your response. Exactly. You were provoking. Enough said. Pass the salt, please. Prick. Insult equals admission of defeat. Until lunch is ready.
You have no idea. You have no idea how hurtful that was. I've not been on a ten-year leave. I've done stuff. I work all the time. But your problem is you know nothing about art and creative work and my world. You never did and you never will. That's right. You can't deny it. Because it's true. And if any of our friends were here, they'd back me up, all of them. Because I'm a housewife. I do stacks, big piles of charity work as well. And then I do all my wheel work. I mean, everybody knows that. But you sit in your big posh office, squeezing pounds out of pennies and turning souls into stones. I've got three jobs, you prick. So you've got no right, no damn right, no fucking right to tell me I'm on leave. Oh, fucking look at me! <laughs> Na jazikot minuva par, pa to tri stepeni po nebse to ke mi ne prvot. Na jazikot minuva par, i na kraje osavite ke lupne garneta, garneta tu. I want to show that so many things about Lena Milena, Janam Liljana. I want to show that so many things about Brvot na jazikot minuva par I na kraje osavite ke lupne Garneta, Garneta tu I want to show that so many things about Lina Milena I want to show that so many, so many things about. Oh. Lolita, Garneta. companies are already with cannabis brands and advertising concepts just waiting for it to go legal. Of course they are. It's true. Uh, did you get that conspiracy daily? Yeah, all right, Mr. Cynical.
nice wine. You should have some. In a minute. It's the last bottle. Oh, crikey. Is that nice, is it? What do you mean? Uh, nothing. I'll order some more. Do you remember looking for dope in Toulouse by the river? <laughs> that was the summer we played hide and seek with the hotel security staff and the midnight swimming. Do you remember? La piscine est fermée! La piscine est fermée! We should go outside, it's lovely. Ah oui. C'est lovely. Hi, Gemma. Is he there? Sure. Ah. Well, just get him to give me a call when he has a chance. It's all right. I understand. Yeah, bye. Anybody home? Alice? Shopping's here! Hi, Lizzie. Hiya. Sorry, I was in the conservatory working. I didn't want to disturb you, but is Neil all right? Yeah, of course he is. It's just that, well, it's as if he's hiding from me. If I upset him or something. It'd be silly. Well, thank you for bringing him all this. Oh, now, have you got a CD for me? Ta da! Oh, wow. <laughs> the demo, the demo. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's put it on. <laughs> 
Uh, no, you play it after I leave. Then you don't have to be polite. Come on. You know I love your music. Yay. That's great. <laughs> I know, the band is Grease. Pissy about the guitarist. Oh, come on, you rock me. <laughs> Coming to our gig on Thursday. All right, I suppose. Well, you know, he's new, so he wants to change everything and sort everything out and be the new Mr. Sainsbury. We're like, yeah, whatever. Give him a week, he'll soon calm down. Great! You've got me raisins. <laughs> oh, come on. What happened? I mean, how do you know something did happen? Look, you left Charlotte alone in a car with someone and you've had it. Male, female, cats. Dogs. Oh, come on, Lizzie, you can't be that bad. <laughs> you think? That's Peter's dad. Who's Peter? Uh, never mind that. The point is, Rich took Charlotte to Cambridge clubbing. Well, that's not exactly a proof of anything. I mean, how are you and Rich generally? Before last week, I mean. Well, I thought we were fine. I mean, I'm mad, he's a nutter, and it's fine. You know what I mean. So how did it come about he went to Cambridge with Charlotte? He was taking his car to a friend of his to fit new speakers in. And Charlotte decided she wanted to see some band play at the junction, but didn't have a ride. So it wasn't exactly chatty baby Liz's ill, let's go out in the town, you and I, was it? Look, the point is, they went to the gig and then they went clubbing and they didn't get back till 4am. What, and they were alone the whole time? Peter and Bill were with them. So it's nothing like what you first said. Look, I know Charlotte. She's always been after him. Lizzie, what's really the problem? Oh, I don't know. He's just... I don't know. Well, have you talked about it? No. Well, you have to talk. It's easy for you to say. Neil's so lovely. Yeah, he still drives me mad. Rich doesn't understand half the things I say. Well, then help him understand. How? Sometimes when I really want to talk, it gets awkward. We just end up watching telly and going to bed. Oh, you take his hand, you look him in the eye, and you just start talking. It's easier than you think. Han, have you made the call? Do you want me to do it for you? Don't patronise me, please. I didn't mean it like that. What does that mean? I didn't mean it like that. What does that actually mean? It's the stupidest line ever and everybody's using it all the time. I didn't mean it like that, meaning I didn't mean it as it really is. I meant it in a cushioned, dressed up in disguise kind of way. It's a statement of contempt, that's what it is. I didn't mean it like that because I either don't respect you enough or trust you enough to be frank, so I just speak wishy-washy to you. Like, I don't mean it rudely. Same thing. I don't mean it rudely, but you stink. Go have a shower. But I didn't mean it like that. I meant it in a pleasant, non-stinky sort of way that has nothing to do with what I really mean or want to say. No, I really didn't mean it like you stink. I just want you to go and have a shower. I think you're going fucking mental. And I think you should call the fucking shrink. Because if you don't do it, I'll do it for you. Before you have to be institutionalised. Is that better, hun? Much, thank you. Define mental. Neil. What? Define mental. Lizzie and her band, mental's probably cool, isn't it? This is no time to be a lawyer. It's as stupid as if I said to you, this is no time to be a dancer. I think your episodes are becoming more frequent. And I think you should consider the doctor's suggestion of further testing. It's not a definition of mental. It's you telling me what to do. Oh, I'm not doing this. Doing what? I'm not engaging in some pseudo-intellectual banter with you. We've got a problem and I want us to work on it together. 
I want to help you, but I don't know what to do. I'm not clever like you. I'm not. I, I wish I was. I wish I knew what to do. I wish... And you are so difficult to argue with. That doesn't mean you're right, you know. It doesn't. You need help. I need help. I need to know what to do. I'll tell you what to do, honey. Leave me alone. All of you, stop pestering me. I've had tests and they showed nothing. Then you made me have more tests. They also showed nothing. You know why? Because there is nothing. Why don't you all just give it a rest? There is nothing wrong. I am clear. I am normal. I function. I eat, sleep, defecate like everyone else. When will you people just accept this? But what? what? I didn't make lunch. I didn't feel like it. I'm on holiday. Sue me. So I didn't come down to see Lizzie. Is that a crime? I mean, did we buy a house in the country so we don't have any privacy? I'm not crazy, Alice. I'm sorry. I'm not mad or mental or nuts. I'm fine. A bit weird, perhaps. But fine. You want to help me? Try being on my side. Patífico y paciente, todo el mundo puede montar en burro.
Yeah, I know, I am sorry. Look, I'll call you back, okay? Okay, three. Well, make it three bottles. Fine, then give me four and the fifth one's free, whatever. Yep, yeah. just put it on my credit card. Yeah, the same credit card you've already got. Thank you. Right, you'll like this one. It's about a woman who's obsessed with her childhood space hopper. Do you remember space hoppers? I had two. The proper ones, with a mean face and the horns. I won't go into town today. Don't worry, I'll just stay here and do some work. You better see me through the door. I know you do that. You hide in the shade, but I know you're watching. You just want to dance, don't you? Or do you like my sexy dancers?
no show. There are no dancers. Never have been. This is all an illusion, like the little green people. You're imagining the shows and the hard work and the dancers and the successes. Everything. But you are beautiful. Jasmine. That's the one your parents brought back from China. It's nice. It's really nice. I know. You like it. They bought it at a tea market. 
you remember them telling us? Just teas. Can you imagine? A whole market just for teas. Imagine. A whole market just for teas. But you could just spend all day choosing tea. How cool is that? And polluted. What do you mean? China. Very polluted. In Shanghai, you can actually see what you breathe. Ah, oh, the tea is fine. It can't be fine. Why not? Well, if the air is polluted, everything is polluted. The tea grows in that air too. And then, of course, the water is polluted by the same industry that pollutes the air, so the poor little jasmine gets it twice. Can't possibly stay clean. Well, it tastes lovely. I'm sure it's from the mountains. A tea plantation. A tea plantation in the mountains. Probably next door to the pesticides factory. Here we go. So just past the pesticides factory, there is a field. And in that field, Mr. Chang grows tea for the market. And he's happy, poor sod. He doesn't have to cycle all the way to town just for a bag of pesticides. He can buy it at the factory gate. At factory gate prices, too, so he probably buys two bags for the price of one. So now he's got so much pesticide, when he sprays his tea, he's far less careful with the doses. Mia, what are you talking about? It's the essence of capitalism. Like family pack shampoos. Family pack shampoos? Exactly. They're massive, so when you pour shampoo into your hand, you pour lots. It even has a bigger hole to facilitate your overconsumption of shampoo. So in a week it's finished and you buy another king-size pack. Only this time it's new and improved and it's got an even bigger hole. China is communist. China is communist, aspiring to be capitalist. Worst kind. Since when did you become all so political anyway? No, I haven't. I'm just illuminating the options. Illuminating mm. the options? What options? Exactly. There aren't any. There are no options, no choices. So might as well just drink your tea and stop wasting time thinking about China. Well, thank you for that. You're welcome. So is this about your being sorry? Yes. Apology accepted. Why? Why? Yes, why? Because I'm good like that. Why? What do you mean, why? Because I was born that way. Because I'm a good person. Because I love you, damn it. Oh, that did you a lot of good, didn't it? I did not complain, Neil. I haven't said a word. No, you haven't, have you? Why? Neil? Alice, why? Shut up. Why? Why, 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 why? Shut the fuck up! OK, Neil. I'll tell you why. That was really upsetting what you did back in there. Upsetting and hurtful and uncalled for. There is no need for that behaviour, no need at all. I can't have you going around being rude and upsetting like that. I can't tolerate it, I can't, I'm sorry. I, I can't have you going around being rude and upsetting like that. I know it's not like you, well, in fact it isn't really you, but... You just can't do that to me, okay? Come inside. I'm just opening a bottle of wine. See you inside. Work and stuff. It's good to see you. I wasn't expecting you. Weren't you? Neil left a message. He wanted me to bring this. We don't have any. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. How are you? <laughs> crap. I'm so crap. I've never been so crap in my whole life. Oh dear, what's happened? He's a bastard. 
That's what happened. A dirty, selfish, impossible bastard. You had a row? No, we didn't have a row. I wish we bloody did. But you have to care to have a row and he just doesn't care. I never want to see him again. I mean, why am I putting up with it? That's what I want to know. If he just doesn't care either way, then why don't I just walk away? And I could, you know. I really could just walk away. Seriously, I've got me band, I've got me job. And you know what? I get off this one. I'm so sorry. I know you're upset and you have every right to be. But he is sorry too, really. In fact, I'm a little worried about him, you know I am. I mean, I know that's no excuse, but... But it's just not like him. And he does know what he did was wrong. Terästä se ratikamme on, ijeru vaara tapatu portu kaavi. Amoria mu konkistado, ijeru vaara tapat pada pada ta. Tristästä se ratikamme on, ijeru vaara tapatu konsisa. Amoria mu komplikado. E jaru bata 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 de. drive home if I had to, honest I could. It's just that oh, I had two double shifts this week. You know, trading shifts with people because of gigs and then and then rehearsing with the band till late. It's not a problem, Lizzie. Look, just uh, get some sleep. Shall I call Rich? Please, as if he cares where I am. Oh, you know that's not true. Don't call him, just don't. OK, I won't. Promise me you won't call him. OK. No, promise. I won't call him, Lizzie. I promise. Or text him, or email him, or drive in the night to go find him. Lizzie, relax. No communication whatsoever. Hey, and no telepathy either, okay? Cross your heart, hope to die. Good night, Lizzie. Good night! You okay? Yes, why? Why are you asking? I was just asking. Yeah. I know what. Oh, it's okay. It's no problem. Oh, I see. Nothing to see. Yes, there is. People only say there's no problem when there actually is one. Usually a big fat don't want to talk about it problem. Neil, don't start again. You're dying to say something, so just say it. Look, I'm tired. Really, I am. Can we just go to sleep and talk about this in the morning? Don't patronise me, Alex. You think I can't take it, don't you? But I can. I can take it. I can take it. 
I can take it, I can take it, I can take it. Stop it! Take it, I can take it, I can take Neil, it. Neil, shut the fuck up! Lizzie is next door, for God's sake. But I can take it. Yeah, all right. You can. You're just trying to appease me. Like a child. Like some silly child. A silly, dumb child. A silly, dumb, sick-in-the-head child. A silly, dumb, sick-in-the-head, deranged child. Neil, silly... I beg you, stop it! It's me, OK? I can't take it. I just can't cope. I'm falling apart and it's scaring me. I'm frightened. I'm failing you. What the fuck? What's going on? My lover, my lover came for me. How cool is that, eh? I'm coming, lover! It's past midnight, for God's sake. Oh, don't worry, love. I'll sort him out. But hang on. Is he drunk? Is he dangerous? No, no, he's just... Oh, he gets like that when he misses me. Once we had a gig in Newmarket and he was down in Brighton and he just got in his van and drove all the way just to see me. Took him eight hours and that silly van of his. Sweet, eh? His sweetness is about to break my door down. <laughs> I know. Where's my lover? <gasps> and it's OK. It's only rich. This is rich. It's all right, it's not a problem. I know. <laughs> it's rich. That's right. He's all right, rich. Oh, I guess he is. Well, they're both all right, they just rub each other up the wrong way. You're all worried about them. Oh. Yeah, I only get to get Lizzie's side of the story, but I do wonder if they'll last. He's too tall for her. Is he? And too quiet. But she's always so bubbly and chatty and like a breath of spring, and he's just so serious and self-centred. That doesn't necessarily need to be a problem. He travels for work, so he spends most of his time alone. He's not used to sharing his life, his time with her, with anyone. He's only used to looking after himself. But he does love her, right? Does he? It could just be fear of being alone. Yeah. Well, so he needs her. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Are you equating need with love? Yeah. No. Ow. I can't imagine love without need. True commitment. Sorry? She only feels he's committed to her if she can see that he needs her. No. no. Commitment is about making a choice. A choice? Yeah. A choice. A decision to merge. To truly intertwine his life with hers. A decision to intertwine one's life with that of one's partner. Basically, yeah. Shared goals. Shared decisions. One path. Exactly. Forever. Forever. If he runs, she runs. If he stops, she stops. And the other way round. Oh, absolutely. If he goes, she goes. Are you okay? But you have doubts about their commitment. Well, I know she's committed, but I do wonder about him. I mean, truly committed. Like a love poem. I shall follow wherever you may go. Alice. I want to go. Where? Best to go now. What are you talking about? I could live without an arm. I could live without an eye, a leg, both legs even. But my mind... This is stupid talk. I'm serious. Yeah. Seriously stupid. Well, that's enough. You already can't leave the house because of me. Soon you won't because of you. That's not true. And sooner or later people will realise we're both mad. And before you know it, we'll only have your little green people for company. It's not funny, Neil. Now stop this now. Ten seconds, Alice. Ten seconds. I'm not listening. I've got ten seconds of clarity when I can feel it's happening. It's coming and I'm aware. I've got the knowledge that it's going on, but I can do nothing to stop it. Nothing. Ten seconds and I'm lost. How long for? I don't know. Maybe forever this time. There are no absolutes with these things, Neil. 
I mean, there's will and hope and, and, and fucking stubbornness, damn it, not to give in. I mean, How many times have you had to tell me to stop it in the last month, week even? How many times? I always have to tell you to stop it when you annoy me. Well, soon that's all you'll be saying to me. Stop it, stop it, stop it. But I won't be able to, Alice. I won't be able to start either. I won't be able to do anything. And every day you'll be spending more and more time in the conservatory with... Uh, stop it! my point exactly. Oh no. You left in a real strop. Feeling better? Do I feel better? Yeah. I don't know. Do you? I feel fine. So you've changed your mind then? Nope. Don't play with me, Neil. Don't fucking play with me, okay? I'm not playing. I'm not like that anyway. You can't just say all that last night and then go bouncing on a trampoline in the morning. It doesn't make any sense. I feel energised. That was an important step for me. I mean, we both know I've come close before, but I couldn't go through with it. I'd always chicken out. But I feel ready now. How about you? I'll watch you. I'll fucking watch you, you prick. Neil? Neil? Darling? Stop that. I beg you, stop that. Honey, oh. honey, I'm here. Let me in. Please, let me in. Why won't you let me in? Look, I'm just trying... Stop trying! OK. There is no make it better. It will not get better. We will not get better. Neither of us. Nothing will get better. If you want to come with me, fine. If you don't, leave me alone. Darling, I... I've got so much work to do. I've got a show on and it's just not ready. It's just not ready.
Shall I get a mug? I, I wouldn't, wouldn't do, do that. that. It's a nice teapot. It's hideous. It was a present. That doesn't make it beautiful. It's artistic. Someone has put an awful lot of thought into it. Someone has put an awful lot of thought into the Holocaust. That doesn't make it beautiful. You're being overdramatic. You're being naive. If it takes naivety to appreciate the beautiful things in life, then so be it I'm naive and proud of it. Nobody ever gives you naive as a compliment, though, do they? Naivety represents absence of cynicism, and that can only be a good thing. Just because I think the teapot is ugly, that doesn't make me a cynic. It's because you're a cynic you can't see the beauty in the teapot. Says who? Oscar Wilde, for one. Of course. Yes. A cynic is a man who knows the price of everything and the value of nothing. This teapot is hideous because it doesn't fit my aesthetics. Oh, that's right. You've got a degree in spit and shit on everything. I have a dark side, yes. So does all real art, even yours. There is a point to that darkness. It is constructive. Life affirming. You've got to have a life to affirm it. Oh, and this will give you life? It will put an end to humiliation. There's nothing more humiliating than giving up. Who says I'm giving up? I'm merely trading modes of existence. Oh, gone all spiritual now, have you? Just trying to speak your language, darling. If you want to speak my language, darling, cut the crap and let me help you. Help me? How will you help me, Annis? Will we share the same doctor? Do shrinks do two for the price of one? Or will we have rooms next to one another, his and hers, in some quaint countryside asylum? It is bullshit. You're not that bad, and neither of us is. Yet. But at least I'm prepared to fight. Fight? What do you think this is, the flu? At least I'm not giving up, you selfish bastard! Oh, don't give me the suicide is cowardly crap, because it isn't. And it isn't selfish, and there is no God, so let's just move on. When we got married, in our very special ceremony, which I know you loved, we made a promise to support each other. That's exactly what I'm proposing. I'll pour your cup, you pour mine. No, don't! Why will you do it? This is madness! Leave, Leave it. it! Lizzie, Neil will take it and pour it all nicely into the sink. No, he won't. Yes, he will. Neil's going, darling, with you or without you. When I got diagnosed, you promised you'd never leave me. That was a different man. No, it wasn't. <laughs> that was a man.
I tried that. No, that didn't work either. How can the bladders take it? That's what I want to know. shopping ever you can both starve to death that's what you wanted anyway Capable of feeling sorry. No, I... I nearly died just now. I know I did, and you just stood there watching me. I need some air.
been looking all over for you. I've been worried sick. Okay, whatever the point was, you've made it in spades. But can we please go home now? Ali. Darling. Как у вас фамилия? 